Okay, hello everybody. <laughs> so uh, before I get into uh, my thoughts, I <laughs> I wanted to share something a little uh, different with you guys. Everybody has their own thing on Valentine's Day. Mine's a little different. About uh, a few years ago, I uh, was going through some issues with my life, and um, it's a really dark place for me at the time. And I reached out to the last bit of hope that I had, and I made a phone call to my brother and uh, Aon. <clears throat> and they flew me down to Texas two weeks later on Valentine's Day. So it's been uh, two years that I've been living here. It's been by far the best choice that I've made in my life, so. <laughs> Love you guys. Yeehaw. <laughs> and sisters but uh I wish I had brought a hat or something yeah I'll be the first person to say it god it's bright up here <laughs> uh but yeah man we had uh we had the the brother Simpsons up here they uh shared their their beautiful music and there's a lot of hype on Valentine's Day a lot of romance going on I however I'm gonna talk about something Again, a little bit different. I don't date. I don't date for a few reasons. Uh, <laughs> one of them, well, I mean, it's just like too much expectation involved. Honestly, I'd rather just hang out. <laughs> let's let's get like a, like you know some beer. Let's go back to my place. Get a horrible movie. Like I mean, horrible movie. Play. <laughs> Zombie, <laughs> Zombie cheerleaders. I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> But no, like, let's, let's play it on Netflix, have our own little version of Mystery Science Theater 3000. And if you don't like Mystery Science Theater 3000, I've already found a key issue in this relationship. <laughs> now, I don't date. I don't do the um, sext messaging. For, your, for uh, some of you older people, Russ, that's um, sexual text messaging. <laughs> I'm not a loud person, so you can't hear me heckling in the back. I got to get it done while I'm up on stage. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But we don't keep score here. Uh, no, I don't do the sex messaging. I'm too honest. I, I, it's more rather that I can't. You know, my uh, the two ones that I can think of. One of them is, uh, and how many ladies have gotten this before, like a date or day of? So, uh, what kind of panties are you gonna be wearing for me tonight? I both love and hate this question because it doesn't matter what you tell them. The answer is going to be one of two things. One of them, one of them is, uh, mm, that's sexy. I kind of want to take them off with my teeth. Now, I know that they're trying to give me a good mental image of what they want to do. But that's dangerous for me because the only thing that I can picture whenever you say, I want to take them off with my teeth, well, it's something along the lines of uh, this. It's time consuming and labor intensive, guys. Get real. <laughs> the second one is, um, ooh, that's sexy. I kind of want to rip them off with my bare hands. <laughs> guys, I don't want my panties ripped off because I paid for these, damn it. <laughs> If they are damaged in any way, shape, or form, you are buying me a new pair with me in accompaniment. I don't trust men to buy my underwear. <laughs> Unless they're gay. Because not only, not only will they be realistic about my hip size, but they'll pick me out a color that's complementary to the rest of my body. 
<laughs> and fabulous. <laughs> the second uh, message, I actually got this recently. And I couldn't help it, man. You leave a door open for me like that, I'm going to walk through it. It was, uh, so, you want a picture? <laughs> and I'm oblivious, so I'm like, ooh, a picture of what? Like a funny cat with LOL captions or... <laughs> Is it a meme? <laughs> no, baby, I want to show you a picture of my PhD. For those of you who are not familiar with the term PhD. Rice. <laughs> it doesn't actually stand for any sort of degree. And I'll let you use your imaginations on it. My reaction is usually no, I do not want a picture. And guys, it's not that I don't want to see it. I'd love to see it. However, anything shown on this itty bitty screen? <laughs> it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna do anything for me. <laughs> Nothing looks like a PhD on that screen. Looks, lo looks more like a minor degree in fencing. <laughs> I'm too honest. It's just silly. I'm a physical person. Outside of physical, you know, boundaries, it's just, there's no point. <laughs> uh, anyway, nah, I don't do dating. I, uh, one of the last dates that I was on took place in November, and uh, it didn't go too well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna preface this story with another story. I was at a party. That had a lot of alcohol in it. No. And I was drinking no. a lot of alcohol. I was, I was wasted, okay? And whenever I'm a little bit over the top, I'm very flirtatious. I was making out with everybody at that party. I have no shame in it. I'm sorry, I looked for you. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was a fun party, man. Worst hangover I've ever had, but it was a fun party. Now, I got a text message the next morning that was like, so this is so-and-so, uh, when are we gonna hook up? And I was, I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck is texting me? I don't know who this is. <laughs> I'm trying to think about who this is. He's like, well, I looked like this, this. Oh, yeah, no, I kind of remember you. Yeah, you were the guy with the thing in the face and the nose. <laughs> <laughs> two eyes, it was, there was, yeah, and uh, I don't want to disappoint the guy, you know, and I haven't been late in a while, why not? So he picks me up a couple of days later, we go out to eat, and uh, we are on our way from the restaurant, we're going to get ready to, you know, because that's totally how, <laughs> that's totally how I do it. The hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> we can't do it at my place because for various reasons, and we can't do it at his place for various reasons. So he got a friend to lend us a room from his friend's place that I had never met the guy. And I was like, okay, again, whatever. Try new things. Let's go for it. We get to the place, walking up the stairs, I'm all jazzed up, I'm gonna get late, I'm gonna get late, I'm gonna get late. He's got a little bag of toys with him. <clears throat> and we get to the room, and that's just kind of whenever the reality of it set in. It was his friend's daughter's playroom. There are so many things going wrong with this situation. And of course, my reaction, as always, if something ironic happens is, <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, man. <laughs> it was a playroom with dolls in the corner that were staring at me and a bunk bed. A bunk bed. <laughs> a very, very, very squeaky bunk. Oh, so 
somebody throw the pill at that man. <laughs> uh, no, but um, <laughs> I tried. I honestly tried. And he's like, we start making out, and I'm thinking, how desensitized am I? How des Clothes are off, and finally I just look at him, and I'm like, is this awkward for you at all? And he's like, well, yeah. I'm like, because the dolls are staring at me in the corner. I'm getting a good view here. And it's... <laughs> It didn't happen, needless to say. I sent him to get a quick, uh, cold shower. I went outside and smoked a cigarette. <laughs> and it was over. It happened in November. So I like to call it a uh, no nookie November. <laughs> it was followed by uh, no debauchery December. No jubilation January. <laughs> Anyway, that's besides the point. You guys have a f fabulous, fantastic February for me, okay, for me. Love you guys. <laughs>